<laughs> Let that wind go by. What's going on, YouTube? Back out here in the greenhouse, checking out the super hot yet again for another update. And we got some kind of storm front moving in. The temperature cooled down quite a bit. But these guys are not, well, they're actually going to take advantage of that cool down because, check it out. We've got pods popping off on this thing all over. We've got buds, like where my thumb is. Here's a pod right here. If I could get rid of the little flower. There we go. Oh, wow, it's so small you can't even actually see the bud, but you can almost see it. Kind of. It's in there. Here's another one with the flower still on. Here's another one right there. So we're starting to take off. These were all, right? Ahi uh, lemon. And... Look at that, even down here, that's pretty cool. That's like all the way towards the base there. Pretty decent. Um, yeah, there's lots of them. Look at this, more right here. Look at that beautiful pod. Nice, pretty little flower right there. Some of the leaves are looking goofy. That's because it's been so daggone hot. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. I already have an ahi lemon right here. Going good. Um, <clears throat> but no, like I was saying, um, the heat, oh, look at that, there's another pod right there, right next to a pretty little flower. Um, but no, the heat, sorry about the wind, this storm is really rolling in quick. Um, trying to get this done quick like, another pretty flower. Um, but no, the heat has been really taking its toll on these guys. I've been coming out here and I guess, yeah, you can see, I guess this guy here, you can see the darker soil, not this guy. Not this guy. This guy, and you can also tell because there's uh, spots missing from where I was top watering. Uh, had to do that. I forgot to mention that. Also, when I do this kind of method, uh, for the first couple weeks, you want to go ahead and um, not really top water, but pay attention to all of your plants because you can see we got some roots going. Not very big roots, though. And you really need those roots to actually uh, take off. You can see, uh, maybe that was wet. Yeah, it is a little wet there. Um, but the water evaporates out of here, and uh, you have to have the roots compensate for that. That way, they're actually getting into the water. Or you got to raise the level, which I believe, I've, I think all of these are uh, uh, ahi lemon. Hey, here comes some wind. And um, this one is my mixed bunch. Uh, this one, I actually probably should raise the level because I'm pretty sure I uh, know that that part's wet. Maybe I just need to move the cups around a little bit. But uh, some of these guys really have been uh, having some, uh, well, I don't want to say damage or anything like that, but they've been having uh, a, quite a hard time with this new living out here. And, yes, you can see most of them are kind of folded over and everything like that, but that's just how they're going to be for a while. But one good uh, thing about them being all leaned over, got all kind of new growth popping off. Look at that. It's like a whole new plant right there at the base. Um, let's see, who do we have here? The Kiero Cream right over here. That's this big old guy. We don't need this leaf. Um, but yeah, you can see we have like two extra plants here, right here at the base, just taken off. Um, I've got my Boot Orange Copenhagen crossed with pineapple. Actually, I thought this guy was bigger inside. This one has been really having a hard time with the outdoor living. It has been, this is the first day it actually looks like a healthy plant. Uh, every single day, its leaves were all curled up. It was all limp, laying over, and it didn't look like it was loving life. Kind of like the, these leaves down there, eh, not so much. Thank you, wind. I'm sure this is going to make for a great video. Um, but, hey, it's video update day. Got to do it. Here's some more all new uh, little plants popping off. Looking great. We don't need this leaf either, or this leaf. That one. We can get rid of that. Actually, this one too. Um, but anyway, that's another boot orange Copenhagen crossed with pineapple. Um, who's the other Kiaro? Kiaro cream. That would be this guy right here. Looking half decent. I don't know what the heck is that. Gross. Get off. Get off. I don't know what the heck that is. But that one's doing pretty decent. And who's the other guy in here then? White Vitale? No. Ah, Yellow Naga Brain. Man, that thing's all bushy. Looking really nice. 
Uh, let's see. Then we go over here to the Ahi Jabutos. Look at these guys. Looking nice and tall. These guys have been looking great uh, from the from the get-go. I don't usually ever say that. Um, but you can see we've got a nice fork right there. And, man, this thing's taking off. We've got all kind of uh, action going on with this guy. Not really bud action. You can see we barely have some buds starting to pop off there. But they are popping off at every little corner that you can see here, everywhere. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some of the smaller ones, they're starting to perk up. But because they were so low for so long, look at that. We've got this extra growth on there, which is kind of lying right there on the uh, bottom of it. Maybe if I raise the camera up, the wind won't be as bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, but this guy looking great. Buds are just starting to pop off of here really good. And who was the other one in here? There we go. Look at that. All of that stuff. And if you look down there, you can see all that black stuff. I was getting worried. I was like, oh my god. And I saw this and I'm like, oh man, Leafhopper's been here. But all those little black dots. Oh, hey, there we go. This leaf uh, kind of fell off. So we don't have to worry about that one. Okay, no more pest damage. But no, all these black dots there, I was like, oh man, we got caterpillars eating stuff. They're eating this garbage, uh, whatever, vine that's here, right in uh, inside the greenhouse. And that's one of those caterpillars right there. And why don't I do anything? Because they're eating that, and they're not eating my plants. So I'm going to go ahead and let them do their thing. And hopefully they don't discover that uh, I've actually got good plants down here. So, and also, hey, you didn't think... Or, you thought they wouldn't show up this year? Yep, there we go. Wasps hanging out right inside the greenhouse. Move along before they want to go ahead and bite me on the head again, like they did last year. That was pretty funny. Anyway, that's those guys over there. Hey, there's other stuff over here. Um, the younglings over here, starting to actually take off. Got the ahi uh, pineapples, all looking good. They're still kind of scraggly looking, but what the heck. They're starting to perk up. Look. That one's starting to perk up. This guy, and the best part is the base of them. It's starting to get lots of new growth. Look at this one. Just exploded with growth all over the place. Same with this guy. So, that's one good thing about your plant laying down is, uh, yeah, it's going to start popping off new little, uh, well, sprouts, leaves, shoots, whatever you want to call it. That guy, still dead. Um... These three are uh, the Kangstar White Tie, and they have gotten big in the last week. I mean, these guys were just, I mean, they were this big last week, and now they're nice and big. Then we move over here to Podville, and over here on this one, wow, I didn't even notice this down here. Look at this. Holy cow, look at the size of this thing. Look at that. That's one week worth of growth right there. Look at that. Not so bad. This is pretty much my Sugar Rush Central here. And check it out. We've got buds right here. I've got a brand new pod, you can see, because we've got that line right there. It won't focus. Oh, maybe it will focus. No, maybe it won't. But you can see that little line on my finger. That tells you it's going to be a pod. Here's another pod right here with the flower just falling off. we got flowers right below it. Sugar Rush love to take off once they actually start getting going. Getting going? But here's some of the uh, stuff that I'm talking about. A lot of the plants, they just look like they are wilting and they can't handle the heat, but that's not a big deal. They can handle it. There's another one. I wonder if that's going to be a pod or not. We'll find out soon. It's not falling off. Um, actually, I haven't gone... Hey, I haven't gone through here. I was just about to say that. Or I did say that. Hmm, weird. But here's another pod. I haven't gone through here and checked to see if anybody has a pod on here. Obviously, by my reaction. Oh my god, there's a pod. There's another pod. But that's just what happens this time of year. Start getting pods everywhere. Here's another pod right there. You can see by the line. Uh, more flowers. Another pod right there. How about that? Look at that. Uh, more buds popping off. We've got new offshoots popping off on the very bottom. Looking great. We go over here. This one I know is a sugar rush. And if you can see everywhere that it's moving there, it's kind of growing along the container. But like I said, not a big deal because it's starting to bush up. Look at all this new growth popping off here. That's all like a week old. 
looking great. You can see where it forked way down here. And everything else is brand new growth. Everything else in here is Nahi Mango. And they are looking great. There's another big old pod right there. We've got this one. That was there last week. Uh, who else do we have here? Oh, that's on that plant. I thought it was on this plant. Um, yeah, this plant doesn't have any buds, does it? I don't know. It has this goofy leaf, but I pulled that one off. It's gone. Um, who else do we have? Let's see. Well, there's other plants. Other plants. Um, how about this, man? Look at this. Looks like a whole new plant, this whole offshoot here. That's just an offshoot. Looking good. Let's see. Who else we got? More mangoes over here. Ahi mango. And I don't think anybody has a pod over here. Got a bud right there. Looking good. And what else do we have? Actually, I need to move these guys around. Do my little TP method that I was talking about, where they all kind of lean inward on each other. Oh, there we go. We're focusing. Um, but yeah, I just need to turn these cups a little bit. That way they're actually leaning on each other like that. And if you do this enough, uh, eventually they will just, you know, have enough strength that they'll stand right up on their own. And then you don't have to have them leaning on each other. But, uh, I might as well do it while I have the awkward camera in my hand. Why not? Makes it more fun, right? Well, it does for me. Maybe not for you. Probably sitting there going, why are you doing this crap? Couldn't you do that right before you videoed? I could have. I didn't. That's good enough. <laughs> Bunch of ahi mangoes. Looking good. How about that? A couple buds popping off right over here. Looking good. And my last guys. They are looking great. I forgot to tell you about the grasshopper story. Uh, but these ahi mangoes, except for this leaf here, not so good right there, eh? Um... Yeah, we're gonna just make this leaf disappear. And this leaf, too. This one doesn't look good, either. I didn't see this one. Look at that leaf. Ugh. Alright, that one didn't exist. Neither did the other. Um, I don't see any pods on these guys. These things are huge, man. These are the ones that are up to my nipples. And, um, you can see brand new growth popping off on the very bottom. Again... That's why I like dropping all of those leaves on the very uh, bottom of the plant, like this one right here. Bang! Now we got more room for uh, new growth to pop up. These guys are, uh, they have been holding each other up. Uh, they really don't need to be anymore. They probably are strong enough to go ahead and support themselves. And, hey, look at that. We got a bud right there, a couple buds right there, looking all good. That's just about it. I guess I'll hop right over here and on these one in the sugar rush uh, bed here. Do we have any damage? I don't even see any leaf damage, really. Got a rip in the leaf right there. Huh, that's weird. There we go. There's some damage right there. I don't know. But anyway, um, I came out here yesterday and I was just checking out the plants and giving them some water if they needed them and stuff like that. I noticed that like right either right here or right here was a leaf hopper and I'm, t I'm I don't know why it was still there I was actually like lifting this thing up you know and the things bouncing around and everything like that and I'm like reaching in with a cup and watering these things from the top this leaf hopper never moved I guess it thought like hey I'm green I'm sitting on green like you're not gonna see me well I did so I used the cup that I was watering with. I grabbed another cup from right behind me, and I scooped that little sucker up, and I threw it right into the aquaponic garden. Way in the back there. The one with the catfish, all the way in the back. That's that broken cup that I smacked a <laughs> leaf hopper with last week um, that I was stepping on. But at way in the back there, if you've been following my videos, I've got uh, two different aquaponic gardens. I've got this one right here with goldfish, and I've got that one way in the back with a gigantic uh, catfish in there. And, uh, yeah, long story short, grasshopper got eaten, and it was great. I loved every second of it. So, bye-bye, grasshopper. <laughs> Hope you have more friends, and I catch them, and throw them into the catfish, and... That way I don't have to buy more food from the store. <laughs> Bang! 
Uh, but anyway, that was it on my super hots. Looking around here, I can't even call them super hots, can I? I've got the boot orange Copenhagen, the yellow Fatale, or the white Fatale over there, and the wind. Um, what the heck was the other one? The yellow Naga Brain. <clears throat> I guess that's all my super hots, really. And then the rest are all ahis, but that's it, man. Checking out all my peppers, we'll call it that. Uh, peppers this week for another update. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, notification bell. That way you can know when we go live, which is usually on Mondays and Fridays. Friday, not Wednesday, Friday. Uh, we used to go live on Wednesdays. Maybe we will again, but uh, not for right now. So, uh, yeah, do that comment thing down below. Make sure you uh, leave a comment, not just for me. I like to hook up everybody within the community with each other. So uh, that's why I say do the comment thing, because I ask everybody to hop into the comment section, find someone new, subscribe up to all their videos, or subscribe to them, watch all their videos, give them tons of thumbs up and comments and all that stuff. Make this community grow quicker and faster and all that stuff, which I have been seeing happening a lot faster than it did way when I way back when I started. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you're thinking about making videos, do it and leave a comment down below. Let us know that you are making videos so that way we can go check out your channel and subscribe and all that fun happy stuff. Um, also, uh, the mystery Amazon link is down below. The wind is still blowing. What's on the mystery Amazon link? I have no clue, but I'll know it 10 seconds before it actually goes live. That, there's another little pod, too. Nice. Way to go, little guy. And this guy is looking horrible. Look at these leaves. Ugh. Anyway, that's enough from me. It's been a nice short little video. Short? What do you mean? It's whatever minutes long. Yeah, normally I make them way longer than that. So, Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. <clears throat> I will catch y'all on live streams on Monday and in the next video. So, till then, later.